Okay y'all, it's November 9th, day 19, and I have a crazy ass story to tell, and happy to be alive. So, about a week ago, this guy named Yasmin messaged me on Instagram and was like, I have this empty apartment for you to stay in, and I was like, wow, what a kind, nice guy to offset all like the negative experiences I've had. So I took him up on the offer, we became friends, and you know, me being me, happy, social, but bubbly, extroverted, friendly, people misinterpret that as flirting or I like you. And so of course he has, he has feelings for me. And I'm like, no thank you, I'd like us to be friends. And then shit starts to get weird. So, you know, when he offered me the keys, he's like, oh, you can come and go as you please. Like, treat this as your own home. And so it's raining for a week in uh, Zagreb, and I don't want to ride anywhere with my bike. And so I'm like, why don't I just go to like Paris for the weekend? Like, I don't want to just be wasting time in an apartment and like, just sitting around and um, he messaged me like oh I want to see you and drop stuff off to you and I'm like oh I went to Paris I'll be back Monday and then he like flips his shit and was like you're a liar you're using me you you should have told me like Yasmin you idiot I'm leaving you should have said something and I was like wait I didn't know I was supposed to report to you and then he's like, you're not, but it would have been nice if you let me know. And I was like, but I just let you know now. It's not like, I literally decided the night before to go and I feel like extremely uncomfortable and threatened. And I'm just like, okay, like, it probably would have been nice if I let him know. And I say, sorry, I didn't inform you. And then like, I'm, like in Paris, enjoying my time there, and then he like messages me Monday, flips his shit again, like, are you coming back? And I was like, you know, I really don't like this. I don't want to be there when I pick up my stuff. And so I lie and I say, I'm going to be back Tuesday. My flight was canceled. And you know, I don't really lie, but in this situation, when I feel like my safety is at risk, I'm not going to put myself in that situation. And so um, I get back Monday and I I have extreme anxiety because he's just messaged me hell and angry shit. Like, he got into the apartment with a credit card and he starts like yelling at me, like through text, like, you left a mess in my apartment, like, you left the light on, you left this moldy food out, like, you didn't do your dishes, like, you left the window open, you left the rain in. And I was just like, I did those things and I'm gonna clean up my mess. Like, I didn't intend for anyone to go in there and like clean for me or inspect how clean or neatly I live. Like I know I'm messy and I don't expect anyone to clean up for me. And I was like, I'll clean up my mess like myself. And then by the way he's talking to me, it's like very like aggressive. And this guy is like over six foot tall, like just not it just doesn't feel good and so I get back and I start heading to the police station because I'm like or like I also email the US Embassy like uh, can anyone please accompany me like I feel like extremely uncomfortable I just need to pick up my stuff like I don't want any I don't want any like confrontation or anything and then they email me back like this sound this is not in line with what we the services we provide like you should call law enforcement we'll uh, forward you to the nearest police station and so I started going to the nearest police station and so I start heading to the police, police station and then I'm like, dude, I don't know, like, this guy is a single dad who's trying to gain custody, custody of his daughter and I'm like, I don't want to really put him at risk of losing his daughter completely, like, that's life ruining stuff for me to just, you know, it's like a 10 minute grab of my stuff, like, I don't really need to do that, nor do I want to put someone through that. Um, so I'm like, but I really don't want to go by myself, but if I have to, I will call the police to go with me. And so I text my previous couch surfing host, like, can I ask your advice? Like, I'm in this situation, what should I do? And he's like, I would go with you, but I'm like about to start working right now. 
and he's like, okay, hold on, hold on, like, let me call my friend and see if he can come with you to see, to make sure the guy just doesn't, like, bother you. And bless his heart, his friend messages me and he's like, I can come with you, I'll be there in, like, 25 minutes. He meets me at the apartment, and I look at him, and I'm like, thank you. I don't know if this guy's in here, but let's pray that he's not. I open the door, the light's on, it's warm, the guy's been there, and I'm just like, he says something to me, and I'm just, I'm like, I'm here to grab my stuff, and I just like, start packing my shit. Um, I was gonna do it neatly, but he just starts like, yelling at me, yelling at um, this, this friend of my couch surfing host, like, what the fuck are you bringing in my apartment, like, you're a liar, like, lying is bad, like, I knew you lied when you went to Paris, like, and just, like, just, like, you take advantage of people, you cry and make up these sad stories about how these people take advantage of you, and you're taking advantage of people, and I'm just, like, you know what, people aren't in a state to listen, and they only have their own side of the story, like, that's what it felt like, I was just, like, throwing my shit in my bag, like, not even thinking what I was grabbing, and... I like stopped and I was like, if you want to talk, we can talk, but are you in a state to listen? And he's like, I'm not fucking in a state to listen, like, you're a fucking li Like, he's just, just like going off on me. He grabs the bat, like comes at the guy, and he's, and he's just like yelling at him Croatian, probably like to get out. And he's like talking shit about me. And I'm just like clearing my stuff, I'm like hyperventilating, I'm extremely anxious. Um, like my heart's racing out of my chest, like it's a really bad situation. And I'm just like, it's like, oh, now you don't say anything to me? Like, now you won't talk to me? And I'm like, you're yelling at me. You're scaring me. Like, I'm not going to talk to anyone who's unreasonable. Like, there's no point, you know? And I get my shit out of there. The guy's, like, chasing us out. I don't know. I guess he said something to the guy in Croatia. Like, he locked my bike or something. And... I don't know, he went in the elevator first, he wouldn't let us go in with him. He's already at the door downstairs. I don't know what he did to my bike. And then he goes back upstairs. And I'm just like freaking the fuck out, right? Like hyperventilating the guy. Bless his heart, he doesn't even know me. And he's like my protector. Um, he's like, it's okay, it's over, it's over. And I call an Uber, I put all my shit in there because it's not packed to load my bike at all. And I like put it to my next spot and I just look at the guy and I'm like, thank you, you, dude, he literally saved my life. I don't know what he, I, whew. I would not, I don't know what he would have done to me if I didn't have someone else there, like as a witness. So I've never had that happen to me. What it felt like was like, you're in like a really toxic, abusive domestic relationship and you know, you are you call your friends like, I gotta move my shit into a U-Haul and like just leave when they do that work or something. Like that's what that situation felt like. I've never experienced that before and I never want to do that again. I'm never going to accept help from people on Instagram. Like, not to that extent because at least with like Airbnb or couch surfing, there's like a review system. But this guy was fucking psycho. Um, and I went to my second spot and I explained the situation to my new host. And he was just, you know, I... I like hearing two sides of a story, and the first thing he said to me was like, well, you know, men and women can't be friends, because men always have an ulterior motive, and they're not just going to let some pretty girl stay with them for free. And he's like, yeah, Croatian men, like, when you give something, not just Croatian men, but men, when you give something to a woman, like, they expect something in return. Like, it's rarely out of the kindness of their hearts, and... That's the perspective he gave me. It wasn't like, Crystal, you fucked up. Like, oh, he fucked up. It's like he had an outside lens without all the specifics of the situation. And that just, I don't know. It's just, 
nice to hear like a different perspective, not of like, oh, I was the threatened victim, like, oh, he was an angry person. Um, so, um, finally had a good night's rest, but like all that cortisol and stress hormone or whatever, like just is inside my body and I'm so sore right now. Like my muscles feel sore and I didn't even like work out. Um, but I'm thankful I'm not, I'm just safe. So, riding's gonna get the stress out of my body. And man, I can't wait till it's warmer so I can camp and be the fuck by myself outside where I don't have to deal with anyone. Like, this is just a lot in a short amount of time. Today I'm gonna go for a long ass ride. <laughs> this is a zucchini and cheese pastry. It's salty. Pretty interesting. Here's a coconut drink. This is my lunch. <laughs> spot his name is Mirko and um, it was pretty cold riding here it's interesting I was the whole time I was riding here I was thinking about like I want to like try their prosciutto pancetta here I want to like to drink a lot of fluids drink some water and I want to get a massage because I'm just super icky and all those things are coming true here like I drank like this electrolyte vitamin thing. I ate like pancetta, cheese a little bit. And then Mirko was like, I have a neighbor who is a massage therapist and she's really good. And I was like, this is crazy. So the power of attraction and the universe is just reading my thoughts and blessing me with what I want. So I'm going to shower, go to sleep, and get ready for the next day.